In this video, let's see product of two continuous functions is also continuous under the topic of algebra of continuous functions. The introduction lies the same as in the previous videos that we have two continuous functions, two real functions. Continuous at x is equal to a, their names are f and g. And we also have alpha as a real number. Now what happens is we know that when f and g are individually continuous at x is equal to a, we are supposed to prove that their product fg is also continuous at x is equal to a. Now individually they are continuous means what? It means that limit x tends to a for fx gives me f of a because the limit should be equal to the value of the function at that point for continuity. Similarly, for the other function which is gx, limit gx at x tends to a is equal to g of a. That is known to us. And what are we supposed to prove? We are supposed to prove for the product. So let's take the product, limit x tends to a and we have the product wherein the functions are subject to x. When this is the case, you already know that you can always separate the limits. For separation of limits, it will become limit x tends to a fx and similarly limit x tends to a gx. This is clear? Now what is the value of limit fx x tends to a? It is equal to f of a. So I write it equal to what? I write it equal to f of a. What about limit gx x tends to a? It is equal to g of a. So it is equal to g of a. Now these are product. This is also product. When fgx you started with, you reached fga. That means you started with the limit concept and that got equated eventually to the value of the function. So that means the product of two continuous functions is also continuous.